Right, you can text me anytime, right? While we are going. Okay, right. So, yeah, so far we have completed uh, the transistor amplifiers, right? Both BJT and field effect transistor amplifiers. So, now we are going to see about operational amplifiers. Right, operational amplifier. An operational amplifier is also a, a kind of an amplifier, but basically it's a differential amplifier. Right, operational amplifier is a differential amplifier. A differential amplifier is nothing but, right, we have two input voltages or two input lines and an output line, right, V out. Right, so here, this will amplify, right, so I can write that V out is proportional to V plus minus V minus. Right, or in other words, I can say that the operational amplifier amplifies the signal, which is the difference between plus and minus, right? B plus and minus. Let me take it as plus terminal and minus terminal. Right, this minus terminal is called as inverting terminal. Right, inverting. And this is called as non-inverting terminal. Right, so your V out will be AO into V plus minus V minus. Right, V plus minus V minus. Right, so here AO is your open loop gain. Okay, right, open loop gain. Right, so Theoretically, right, the open loop gain will have very high values, right? So probably you um, will see the concept of ideal and practical operational amplifiers. Um, okay, we'll see first about the ideal and practical operational amplifiers, and then we'll move to the open loop and uh, closed loop operations, right? Here, the operational amplifier will be powered by two voltage supplies. One is plus VCC, the other one is minus VEE, -E, right? Two DC voltages. In our transistor amplifier, we had VCC and the other terminal is grounded, right? Other terminal is grounded. But in operational amplifiers, we have plus VCC and the other terminal, which is minus VEE, -E, is Ground, sorry, not connected to a minus voltage source, right? For example, this could be plus 15 voltage and this could be minus 15 voltage, right? So as we seen in the uh, transistor amplifiers, the whole signal rise between VCC and ground. Similarly, here your signal or the output signal lies between, right? Plus VCC and minus VEE. -E. Right, so it could go take any values between plus VCC and minus VEE. -E. But in a transistor amplifier, it takes plus VCC and the other terminal is grounded, right? This is zero, right? So your signal will be something like this, right? About the Q point of the transistor. But in uh, uh, operational amplifiers, it varies between plus VCC and minus VEE. -E. I have both positive and negative half cycles in the amplifier with respect to a ground line. Am I right? Give me a second, guys. Hello? Woman.
sorry guys yeah hold on right so right so that's all about dcc and now we'll see about the uh, equivalent circuit right so we have seen the equivalent circuit of a uh, transistor amplifiers both vjt and field effect transistors in our previous class right now let's see the equivalent circuit of a operational amplifier right let this be v in right this be right v plus and this is v minus right so this is plus terminal and this is minus terminal right this is non-inverting terminal this is inverting terminal right so now i have that in right this is my input impedance that in and then i have my output impedance which is that out right that out similarly i have my current gain component which is a o into v plus minus v minus right this is ground right so this will be my v out right so this is the i would say in simple words a uh, practical the uh, equivalent circuit of a practical operational amplifier right now can you calculate the current between plus and minus terminals right if you have i in i can say that my i in is equal to v plus minus v minus which is the potential difference between these two points divided by z in right z in clear right this is my v out am i right now i am connecting a load resistance here right which is r l right which is r l now what will be my v out this is my v out am i right v out so here i have a o into v plus minus v minus and that will be divided between this potential divider am i right between this potential divider i could say that my v out i can write that my v out is equal to rl by rl plus z out into right so i could write it as a o into v plus minus v minus clear so this is my input current and this is my output voltage remember your output voltage depends on your output impedance of the operational amplifier right so that makes the circuit bit complicated now to make things simpler we are moving to uh, a, a hypothetical device right called an ideal operational amplifier ideal op amp right so now this is my practical operational amplifier so now we are moving into an ideal operational amplifier right which is a hypothetical device right now i'll do the internal circuit of an ideal operational amplifier right this be my plus and this is my minus terminal right here i have that n am i right i have that n hence i have i in which is v plus minus v minus over that n right so practically that n will be a, a very high resistance right that n will be a very high resistance but in an ideal operational amplifier we assume that the input impedance that in is equal to infinity right we assume that the that in becomes infinity hence let my let me take it as the current entering into the operational amplifier which is i in right if the current entering into the operational amplifier i in and that in is infinity i can say that right so that in will be v plus minus v minus divided by infinity which becomes zero 
right? So for an ideal operational amplifier, I can also write that I in is zero or the operational amplifier does not draw any current from the external circuit, right? So the current will not flow into the operational amplifier, right? The current will not flow into the operational amplifier. The other thing is right here, we have, right? So this will be my uh, Z out, right? But for an ideal operational amplifier, my Z out is zero. Right, look at here in this equation, if Z out becomes uh, zero, then your V out will be simply independent of your load resistance, right? RL, RL will get canceled. So V out is not depends on your load resistance. For a practical operational amplifier in the same time, it depends on RL, right? If RL changes, this value also changes, right? But for an ideal operational amplifier, because of that out is zero, we can say that the uh, uh, um, uh, output voltage V out is not depends on your load resistance RL. Am I right? So I can say that Z out is equal to zero, right? Z out is equal to zero and the same time my AOL, right? This is AO into V plus minus V minus, right? V plus minus V minus AO is equal to infinity. In a practical and operational amplifier, AO will be a very high value, right? It will be about uh, 10,000 to 25,000, right? Based on the model. But for an ideal operational amplifier, we can take it as infinity. Okay, so AOL becomes infinity, right? So um, now let me draw the transfer characteristic curves of both practical and ideal operational amplifiers. Right, so let me take, right, this is my, right, V out. <clears throat> right, this is my plus VCC and this is my minus VEE. -E. Let me take it as this one, right? As I said earlier, see here, we have a defined AO, am I right? AO. So I can write my V out as from the uh, equation. See here. So my equation V out is equal to simply AO into V plus minus V minus. Am I right? Right. Let's forget about the output resistance. Right. Just forget about this resistance. Right. So V out is AO into V plus minus V minus. Right, so I can say that this will be V plus minus V minus. This axis is V plus minus V uh, minus. So I could say that in this region, V plus is greater than V minus, and in this region, V minus is greater than V plus. Am I right? Clear. In this region, V plus, V plus is greater because V plus minus V minus is positive. And in this region, V minus is greater because V plus minus V minus is negative. Right? So in this one, I can say that Y equals MX. Am I right? What is my X? V plus minus VS. Right? So I could say that this is a straight line through origin, right? Y equals MX. So it's a straight line through origin. And in simple words, I can say that the gradient of this line will give you VAO. Am I right? This will be about 10 to the power 4 to 10 to the power 5, right? Which is 10,000 to 100,000, right? Which will be too sharp. Am I right? And then that will be saturated because yeah, cannot go beyond VCC and VEE, -E. right? So this green line is the transfer characteristic curve of a uh, practical operational amplifier. Now, come into the ideal operational amplifier. Now, your AO is infinity, 
right? So your gain becomes infinity. So I could say that this should be infinity. A O is infinity, right? Where under, under which conditions your A A O A will be infinity? Yeah, only at y equals something. Sorry, x equals y, right? Something into y, and then it will be saturated, something like this, right? So it will be kind of a straight line through the zero, right? So if you are using an ideal operational amplifier, I could say that if your V plus right is slightly higher than V minus, your V out will be plus VCC. Right? If your V minus is slightly higher than V plus, then your V out will be minus V E E. Clear, right? That is the output of a ideal operational amplifier. This is the characteristic of a practical operational amplifier. And then the blue line represents the characteristic of a practical, uh, sorry, ideal operational amplifier. Right? Okay. Now we'll see how we can use uh, 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 the operational amplifier under open loop and closed loop conditions. Right. For example, now consider this operational amplifier, right? So I have an op amp. This is my V out. I have plus VCC and minus VEE, -E, right? And I have plus minus, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to connect an AC source. Right, AC signal which goes plus and minus, right, with the equal sign. Right, let this be AC. Right now, let me cons let me see. Oh, let let. Uh, okay, I'll explain you how uh, the output varies with the input. Right, let this be input. Right, V in, and this is T. Right, so let this be something like this. Okay, and then now I'll draw the V out as well, right? So this is V out. This is plus VCC minus VEE, -E. right? So look at here under these conditions, right? Under these conditions, right? Here the plus and here the voltage is minus. <clears throat> Am I right? I could say that during the positive half cycle, voltage at plus terminal is greater than the voltage at minus terminal. Am I right? So during that time, it will be plus, right? So I can put a dotted line, something like this. Right, so during the positive half cycle, yeah, this voltage is higher and this is lower. And then when it becomes minus, now this becomes bigger, right? And then the positive voltage becomes uh, lower, right? I could say that, yeah, the blue line and hence it becomes yeah, minus VEE. -E. And then again, it is going to shift it to positive, right? So my output will be something like this. Right, my output will be something like this, shifting in a uh, oscillating according to the V in. Right now, let's see another circuit. Okay, so I have an operational amplifier, right, which is a AC signal, and that is ground at plus. And this is my minus. This is plus, right, connected to. VCC minus VEE -E, and this is my V out. What I'm doing is I'm going to connect a battery here. Right, which means about, say that uh, it's, a, it's a plus voltage, right? Because, yeah, so what I'm doing is I'm connecting plus terminal to an AC voltage and minus terminal to a DC voltage. Let me draw the waveform. Right, so this will be my 
okay v in and this is v dc and this is v out right so this is my v in right so let's take it as a sine wave right at that they have a sine wave oscillation right we'll have sine wave oscillation right now this is the voltage v plus am i right also i have a positive voltage which is connected at v minus right so i can say that the v minus could be anywhere above this half cycle am i right for example let's take this is my v dc right this is my v d c so i can put a line something like this and then now let me see how my v out varies right so yeah i can take these as my reference points right so i can say that under these conditions right your v plus is greater than v dc am i right during this region your v plus is greater so i could say that during that time i have my output which is v cc right so this is zero and during this time it becomes plus and then during this half cycle yeah so your vdc is greater right your vdc is greater which is your v minus so during that time it becomes minus vep right again it shifts from plus to minus and then yeah something like this clear so it depends on where if v dc is somewhere above this line then your v out will be throughout the line it will be minus v e e because throughout the uh, cycle of this oscillation or the of this ac wave your v minus is greater than v plus hence your output will be v minus so throughout the line this will be a minus v e e right so this is how we can so in a in simple words i can say that under open loop conditions an operational amplifier works as a comparator right comparator means it compares these two voltages and produces two levels right if v plus is greater it will produce a positive voltage if v minus is greater it will produce a negative voltage right hence we can call it as a comparator under open loop conditions an operational amplifier works as a comparator right now let's see how we can use these operational amplifiers under uh, a, a, a feedback condition sorry guys uh, now let's let's see how the operational amplifier can be used in feedback circuits right so earlier we have seen a golden rule right we have seen a golden rule which says yes the operational amplifier does not draw any current from the 
external circuit. Now, if the circuit of the operational amplifier is used in a closed loop, we can apply another uh, golden rule, right? If the operational amplifier is connected in a closed loop, right? For example, this is minus, this is plus, and this is in a feedback circuit. This is my V out. Right, now I can say that, yeah, the operational amplifier is operating under a closed loop conditions. And if it is under closed loop conditions, I can apply the second golden rule, which says V plus is always equal to V minus. Right, so what is the first golden rule? I in is equal to zero, right? So I in, this will be my I in. Right, the operational amplifier does not draw any current from the external circuit, right, which is golden rule number one. And the second golden rule is if it is connected in a closed loop circuit, then the terminals are perfectly matched. Or I can say that V plus is equal to V minus, right? Now uh, we'll try to solve a, a couple of simple electronic circuits. Right, first consider this circuit, right? We'll start from a, a simple circuit, right? This is my op amp. V out, right? I have R in, and this is my V in. This is my RF, right? I could call it as feedback resistance, right? So this is my inverting terminal. And then what I'm doing is I'm going to ground my non-inverting terminal. Can you guys hear me? It says that my internet connection is not stable. Can you hear me? Yeah, okay. Oh, sorry, it's, it's an old message. Can you hear me? Hello? Someone of you can just message me, text me. Yeah, okay, thank you, right? So, yeah, now I'm going to solve this circuit. So I'm going to, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate the V out in terms of V in and all the other resistances right so uh, by using those two golden rules right by using those two golden rules what is golden rule number one says yes this current i in is equal to zero right if the operational uh, the current drawn by the operational amplifier is zero let me take it as i f and this as i in Right, this is not I, right? That I is zero. This is I in and I F, and if this is zero, these two must be equal. Right? So at this node, if I apply Kirchhoff's current law, both are incoming currents, right? So I can say that I in plus I F is equal to zero. Or other words, I can say that I F is equal to minus I in. Clear, right? This is my golden rule number one. Now, what is golden rule number two says? Yes, the voltage at this point and this point are always equal. If this is grounded, the voltage V plus will be equal to zero, right? And then, and hence, my V minus O voltage at this point is also zero. If this point voltage is zero, I can say that current I in can be written as I in can be written as right V in minus zero divided by R in, which is simply V in by R in. Again, since it is zero, I can write my IF as right V out 
minus zero divided by R A. Right? Oh, in simple words, I can write it as V out divided by R F. Now, see here, this is my I in and I F. I can relate I in and I F using this one. So I can rewrite this equation. So V out by R F is equal to minus of I in, which is minus V in by I in. Sorry, uh, R in. Clear. So I can write my V out as right V out equals minus of Rf by R in times V in. Right? Clear. Again, from this equation, I can write that my a v, which is equal to v out divided by v in, which I am bringing this one here, will be minus r f by r in. Clear. For example, if r is r f is 10 kilo ohm and r in is 1 kilo ohm, I can say that my voltage gain is actually minus of 10 kilo ohm by 1 kilo ohm, which is minus 10. Right? This minus indicates that the V in undergoes a phase shift. Right? If I am applying an AC signal, something like this, it experiences a 180 degree phase shift. Right? So the output will be something like this. Right, the output will be something like this. If you have a positive half cycle here, that will become negative half cycle in your output. Right, so that represents this minus, and then the magnitude of gain will be Rf by R in. Okay. Now, oh, sorry. Right, so this circuit actually amplifies your signal but with a minus symbol i think we call it as an inverting amplifier right inverting amplifier right now let's see another circuit Let it be R1, R2, right? This will be my V out. Clear. And then I have my V in here. Right? So this is closed loop circuit. Again, this is plus, this is minus. And V out. Right. Now, Okay, let us derive an expression between uh, to correlate V in and V out. Right, let's take the, okay, I can see that this is a potential divider. Am I right? R1 and R2, it's a potential divider. Let's take the voltage at this point as V. Right, I can say that my, I can write that my V is equal to R2 by R1 plus R2 times V out. Am I right? R1 by R2 times V out because this is just a potential divider and uh, this is grounded V out. The whole voltage across V will be R2 by R1 plus R2 into V out. Now, what I am doing is, what is the voltage at this point? If it is V, yeah, the voltage at this point will also be V. And look at here, this voltage is connected to V in. Right, so this operational amplifier is under closed loop operation and hence my V in is equal to V. I can rewrite this equation as V in 
is equal to R2 by R1 plus R2 times V out. Oh, I can say that in simple words, V out is equal to R1 plus R2 times, uh, sorry, divided by R2 into V in. Am I right? It goes there, comes down, V out remains constant. So I can rewrite this again. V out is equal to, I can divide R1, R1, I can put it separately. So R1 now become R1 by R1 becomes 1 plus R1 by R2 into V in. Clear. From this one, I can write my AV, which is V out by V in equal to 1 plus R1 by R. Clear. So there are no minus signals in the output equation, right? Hence, if I have a voltage, something like this, yeah, it will follow the same phase, right? If it is positive circuit, positive half cycle, that become the positive half cycle in the output. Right? Hence, we call this circuit as a non-inverting amplifier. Right? A non-inverting amplifier. Right? And the gain is this one. Okay. Right. Now, move it to the... Uh, uh, Another circuit, right? Let's take it as an analog summer. Analog summer or analog adder, right? Just consider a circuit, right? So something like this. Let it be V1. V2, V3, and this is Vn, right? Dot, 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 Vn. This is R1, R2, R3, and Rn. This is given to an operational amplifier, right? To the negative terminal, and the positive terminal is grounded, then with the feedback resistance. All right, this is my V. Now, we'll try to derive an expression to correlate V out and all these input voltages. Let this be R. Clear, right. Now, again, I can say that this is connected in a closed loop condition. So if this current, then I is equal to, sorry, if uh, the, let this be the current I, right? I in, this current is I in, this is IF. Again, the current going inside the operational amplifier is zero. So I can say that I in is equal to minus IF. Clear. Similarly, your non-inverting terminal is grounded. Hence, the voltage at this point is zero. Again, the voltage at this point is zero. So I can say that the voltage at this point, this point, this point, this point, everywhere along the line becomes zero, right? So let's take this current as I1, I2, I3 up to In. And I can say that my I in is the addition of all these small currents, right? Addition of all these currents and then I can say that my I1 I can write it as V1 minus 0 by R1. So I can write it as I in is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus I n. Am I right? So I can write it as equal to I in is equal to V1 minus 0 by R1 plus V2 by R2 plus V3 by R3 plus Vn by Rn. Am I right? So this whole thing is equal to minus IF. 
which is again if becomes v out by r right so i can write that uh, v out by r is equal to v1 sorry uh, a minus right minus v out by r is equal to v1 by r1 plus v2 by r2 plus v3 by r3 dot dot vn by rn right so this becomes a minus now let's take r equals r1 equals r2 equals r3 equals dot dot equals rn which, which becomes all the resistance are equal so what i can do is i can take it as a common and then i can remove both sides i can simply write my v out is equal to simply minus of v1 plus v2 plus v3 plus dot 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 vn right so this circuit simply if all the resistance are equal this circuit will perform the addition of all these small voltages right so your v out will gives you the output which is equal to the summation of all the small voltages right so that is called as analog sum right now give me a second guys i'll have sorry guys right now we'll see another circuit right which is analog subtractor mm, let me draw the circuit first and then we'll solve it right this is my v out then let this be r1 r2 right and again this is minus terminal and this is plus terminal right inverting and non inverting terminal this b b minus okay let's take it as uh, sorry b1 right e1 and then now this is v2 and then i have i am not going to directly ground it i am going to connect it through another resistance r1 r2 r3 and r4 sorry right so now i can say that the voltage at this point will be v minus and the voltage at this point will be v plus right so v minus v plus right in simple words first of all look at here i have a potential divider am i right r3 r4 v2 and ground so i can simply write my v plus is equal to r4 divided by r3 plus r4 into v2 minus 0 or i can write it as v2 am i right i can simply write it as v2 right on this loop i can say that the current is not entering into the uh, operational amplifier or i can simply say that yes let this be i in and this as i f right i can say i can write it as i in is equal to minus i f right from the previous one you can simply write it as i in equals minus i f and then i in becomes right i in becomes 
v1 minus v minus am i right v1 minus v minus divided by r1 which is equal to minus of v out minus v minus divided by rf right v out divided by rf so right so in simple words how i can do this one is uh, i can rewrite this as just bring this one right rf by r1 into v1 minus v minus am i right is equal to v out minus v minus clear v out minus v minus right so i can rewrite this as v out is equal to clear right so v out is equal to if i bring this one the other side right so this becomes right uh, v uh, this becomes plus right and then there is an r1 over rf i can say that v minus into 1 plus rf by r1 am i right so if this becomes 1 and then there is already oh sorry yeah uh, 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 v uh, minus right sorry this should be v out minus v out yeah sorry there is a minus again oh sorry i confuse it so this minus means this becomes minus and this becomes plus and hence i need to bring it this side and this one goes the other side and that becomes plus yes this is correct okay don't confuse like that right so this is correct right so v out is equal to this one right uh, all these terms minus this one right this becomes the uh, r f by r1 into v1 am i right r1 into v1 now uh, i can substitute v minus which is this one right v minus equal to v plus now so i can substitute this one here right so i can write it as v out is mari 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 my ears are gone man who is that suddenly okay <laughs> right i'll continue uh am i recording it yes right so v out is equal to instead of v minus i can substitute this one right so i can write it as uh r4 by r3 plus r4 into 1 plus rf by r1 times v2 minus rf by r1 times v1 am i right so this is my final equation right in this equation if r1 equal to r2 equal to r3 equal to r4 right oh sorry i used rf no up oh. uh, this should be r2 right i used rf sorry guys this should be r2 right if all these are equal to this should be r2 as well right if all these are equal then look at here r by 2r so this becomes 1 by 2 again 1 plus r by r 1 plus 1 becomes 2 into v2 right 1 by 2 into 2 becomes 1 so i can write it my v out is equal to half into 2 becomes 1 so v2 minus r by r becomes 1 v1 clear so this circuit eventually becomes a subtractor your v out is equal to v2 minus v1 right it subtracts the voltage given at your non inverting terminal right 
to the voltage at non inverting right so plus becomes from v2 minus v1 clear so this is a uh, 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 differential amplifier or uh, analog subtractor right so yeah i think that's enough for today and then we'll continue the uh, class in the evening right we'll continue it in the evening right thank you thank you Right. Right. Yeah. So in the morning we have seen about uh, analog subtractor. Um, yeah, inverting and non-inverting amplifier, uh, analog adder and subtractor. Right. Yeah. Now see another circuit. Right. So just consider this one. Right. So let this be B of T. Right. Let these are function of time. These voltages are time varying voltages minus plus we out and this is grounded all right so let this be capacitor with capacitance c and this is feedback resistor Right, so we know that the uh, uh, charge served in the capacitor Q can be written as C into V, am I right? Q equals C into V, we have seen this one already, right? Just derive both sides with respect to time. DQ by DT will be C is a constant, right? C into D, DT of, here I have V of T, am I right? This is a function of time, right? So now it is constant and we know that dq by dt is our current i, right? dq by dt is our current i. Hence, I can say that the current through the capacitor i can be written as c into d dt of v of t. Clear, right? Now, apply this as i in, right? i in and this is i f. Right, as we know earlier, operational amplifier does not draw any current, so I can write it as I in is equal minus I F. Right, and similarly, if this is V out and this is grounded, so this is zero voltage, and here I have zero, so I can write my I F as V out divided by R. Am I right? Right now, I can write my I in as, right, so here I have my capacitor C into T dt of V of T. Am I right? Now, substitute this one and this one in this equation. Right, so I can simply write, yeah, C into dV by dt is equal to V out, right, there's a minus V out by R. Uh, Right, so this is my equation. Right now, let me take V out as my uh, subject, right? So V out is equal to, right, bring that R here and the minus other side, minus RC into DDT of V of T. All right, so now look at this one. Your output is, Right, directly proportional to the, because R and C both are constant, right? To the differentiated version of the input. Am I right? So in other words, if R into C becomes one, right? For example, R is one mega ohm and C is one microfarad, then 10 to the power six and 10 to the minus six, right? So then RC becomes one, right? If RC is one, I can write that, V out is equal to minus D dt of V of T. I can say that the circuit is differentiating the input. Hence, I can call it as a differentiator.
right? Differentiator surface, right? But remember, I have a minus here, right? It's inward, right? So it is a, there is a minus, right? Now, let's see the other surface, right? So now we have the capacitor here. Let's see what will happen if we interchange the capacitor. Right, so I have minus plus this is V out, this is V in O V of T, right? V in of T R and C. Right now, what I can do is again. Let this be I in and this is I F. And again, I can write it as I in equals minus I F. Also, this one I in is equal. So because the voltage at this point is zero, because this one zero, this one zero, then I in equals V in divided by R. But similarly, I can write my IF as, right, so the voltage across the capacitor becomes V out and zero, so I can write it as IF equals, right, so current through that one is C into D dt of V out. Let V out is a function of time, right, D dt of V out. Now, substitute these two in this equation. Right, V in divided by R equals minus C into D D T of V out. Right, bring this R here, cross multiply or just take uh, D T the other side so I can write it as, um, yeah, so this C becomes so minus 1 over R C into, if you bring this D T there, V in into dt equals right C already there, so I can write it as d v out and integrate both sides because one over R C is a constant. Am I right? Just integrate both sides. So I can say that d v out becomes v out, right? V out is equal to minus one over R C into integration of V in into dt. Clear. So again, in other words, if Rc equals one, then one over Rc becomes one. I can write my V out as minus integration V in into dt. Clear. So I can say that the output is the integrated version of the input, right? Since I can call this circuit as an integrator. Right? Give me a second, please. Resume. Right, so this is just an integrator and this circuit has become a differentiator, right? It's all about just interchanging the capacitors, right? So now, hope you know how to solve a, uh, or how to uh, 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 solve a simple problem uh, using, a, using an operational amplifier, right? So I think with that, your operational amplifier chapter is over, right? So you have to answer one question in this section, right? You have to answer one question in this operational amplifier section, right? So your first question will be from diode. Second one will be from uh, BJT or FET, right? In your transistors. And of course, I will have one in course exam, which is from your transistor section, right? So you have, you will have two questions in your um, 